I met last night. What's your name? Uh, Eugene Fowler. Eugene Fowler. All right. Now I can look you up in the radio clown. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> the fire feels good. Yeah, it does. Nice. Well, thanks for the fire and nice. All right, it is 7.55 and I am on the trail. This is day five. And I have something, somewhere around another 12 miles to the camp I wanna get to, which would put me up to summit uh, Sassafras Mountain early the next morning. And it'll be from that campsite will be roughly another 12 miles to finish the hike. So all going well. Let's see what encounter today. Okay, not out of the campsite yet, and I have to video this uh, suspension bridge because it is really moving on me. Let me hold on to my phone real good. It's not a real big one, but it moves. <laughs> Holy moly. We stop for a second. Beautiful stream we slept by last night. All right, let's finish this bridge before I drop my phone. Someone spiced up this trail marker. <laughs> this past a campsite where people were able to get to it by not far from a really rough gravel road there's a bunch of campsites along the way another suspension bridge cool i love these things oh yeah and uh, not near as wobbly as the last one because it's a lot shorter i'm sure more streams. The streams are just beautiful. I took a bath in one last night. Well, I took my shirt and okay, which way do we go? This is one of those back gravelly roads. Other than uh, other than these, actually, I don't know what it's like in the 100 mile wilderness on the Appalachian Trail, but this trail in a way is similar in that you're way out man for 76 miles you have hardly any way to get off i mean there's nobody going to be going down that gravel road for hours if not a day or two another campsite so yeah what i really love about this this hike is that you have uh you have a lot of waterfalls a lot of running river so you've got plenty of water water everywhere plenty of campsites and uh, that's just hard to beat so you don't have to pack much water all right i'm pretty sure we're going to be turning into the woods here again this road well nope uh, oh i see the marker up there up here we're going to be turning, but how do I can get through it, through it here? Oh. <clears throat> this is, welcome to Laurel Fork Creek Valley. Okay, we're going to start hitting some climbing again. All right. Let's do it. All right, have a good one. Just out for a run up a freaking mountain. All right, let's do a little rock hopping. What do you say? First, we got to get down here. Uh, better put it away. This section has a lot, so far, has had a lot of suspension bridges. They are really cool. This one's pretty wobbly. Now I'm doing it on purpose, but just walking I wasn't.
another small campsite. Looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, this would be nice. All right, this is a new type of bridge they're doing, and it they are really stable the way they put the put the rails on with big cross beams. I mean, you get on this thing, at least. Oh yeah, this baby is solid as a rock. A lot different than the suspension bridges. Just met a guy coming in, going for a day hike. There he goes. to the birds. They are really singing. This is Flat Rock Campsite, as it says right there, but wow. Wouldn't it be great to make this one of your stops if the time permitted? Plenty of tent space. Hammocking if you've got hammocks, whatever. Pretty cool looking uh, rocks. Big tree sitting on top of it. I think it's uh, listed on the gut, gut hook, hook slash far out app as rock formation. are still chirping. I think you can see the road way down there. where you got to just be real careful. You don't want any twisted ankles out here.
Okay, this is the last blacktop. It's only the second one in the entire place. So it, the trail is pretty remote. Crosses right over there where we're going to cross. And then uh, we start working our way towards Sassafras. like a hobo under a bridge filtering a liter of water for my next I don't know three miles it's going to be almost straight up it's going to be a really tough climb but there's water at the campsite supposedly so I'm only going to take a liter that ought to more than do me All right, heading up from Laurel Valley, heading up, uh, actually I'm heading up Sassafras Mountain from uh, this side. It is a extremely, oh look at this, cool. This is a popular motorcycle road with all the curves and hills. But I'm headed up, uh, I did, a, the. I'm trying a rating system of the, the total descents and ascent from one point to another and uh, this one is the highest I've seen it's all, it, almost right at 500 the toughest ones that we had on our last Appalachian trail hike was was in a 450 range and uh, most of this has been the 350 so this is going to be a killer hike 3.7 miles to the campsite and then tomorrow morning I should be in real good spot to summit Sassafras Mountain. Still hiking up Sassafras. It's all uphill. But I have plenty of time. I keep saying, last few days I found out I have a lot more daylight than I have gas. That is energy. Oh, man. This is Chimney Rock Campsite. Taking another little break. Some people hiking up there. That's the trail. I walked a little ways down. I may have to get water I gotta decide if I want to carry water. That's a huge rock. Ooh, you could sit in there in a storm. You could sleep. Cowboy camp under there. It's filled up with water. I've got a full liter and a half and chugged a bunch, cameled up they call it, because I'm not sure of the water situation at the campsite that's the approach to the summit where I'm going to spend the night. So it's a little heavy and I got 2.7 miles to go. There's going to be a whole lot of up. Alright, this is one I think I can do without out both hands. Second thought, forget about it. So that may be one of the pines right there. I don't know. Since 72. 28, that's 40 some years ago. No, they should be some tall ones. Uh, I'm point three from the campsite. It has been a an extremely difficult day. I'm, I only have, after I get to the campsite, it's only a half a mile to the summit of um, Sassafras Mountain. So, uh, 
we'll see how I feel in the morning. Whether I want to uh, try to get up to catch a sunrise. Uh, there's 20, some, somebody said 27% chance of rain tonight and tomorrow getting heavier chances. I don't know if it's afternoon or when. All right, I have arrived at Big Rock. That's a big rock. And Big Rock campsite. Let's take a look. I was worried about it being full. There's nobody. Wow. Looks good to me though. birds. <laughs> 